Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rana Beer Review. I've been asked many times to do this beer, and now that I've done my beer umentary series at that brewery, I figured it's time for me to review the beer. We're going to be looking at Steam Whistle Pilsner. Steam Whistle Pilsner is 5% alcohol. It is brewed at the Roundhouse in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. The Roundhouse, for those of you that don't know, was an old steam locomotive station. It's a heritage building in Toronto. Location, location, location. This bottle, this bottle, this building is right near the CN Tower, right near the Rogers Centre. This is in, like, the heart of Toronto Tourism Central. You can go for a tour there. Tours are every day. They run every half hour after one, I believe, noon or one. It's a $10 fee. You get yourself a sample, you get yourself a cup, and you get a tour of a really amazing brewery toured by people that love beer and are there to give you an awesome time. Um, now, in all honesty, the first time I had Steam Whistle, I hated it. I really hated it. I was managing and bouncing at a bar in downtown St. Catharines. The owner loved Steam Whistle, so he kept it on hand. It didn't really sell at our bar, mostly because it was a downtown St. Catharines bar. Okay, downtown St. Catharines, you're looking at, you're selling blue. You're selling, um, whenever the Wellandites came out, we'd be selling Molson Stock. You'd be selling Bud, Canadian, Coors. You'd sell a lot of the no-name stuff. But the stuff that didn't move, our owner never really came in and dumped. It would just sit on the shelf. So the first time I had a steam whistle, who knows how old the beer was, who knows how light struck it had gotten, because I remember it just being skunky and gross. The second time I had a steam whistle, I hated it again. Same type of thing happened. I went to I went to Bugsy's. Me and the boys have done the Bugsy's beer card many a time. Steam Whistle is on that beer card. Now, just like at our bar, Bugsy's has a thing where if a beer sat there forever, it's just still sitting there. I mean, I once ordered a Charles Wells that had expired three months before I had it. They brought me the bottle. It's best before it was February. It was the end of May. So, I mean, who knows how long that one sat there, too. Now, as I moved on, I started drinking it more and more, and I could get more and more of a taste for it. It started building on me, but those first two disgusting bottles kept me away from Steam Whistle for a great long period of time. Now Steam Whistle has their team clean that goes around the Toronto area and checks date codes and all that. Uh, as they get bigger, I, I hope that their team clean can go out further because, truthfully, Steam Whistle, those first two impressions I had of your beer really didn't make your beer sit very well with me. And I, it wasn't your fault. It was probably 2003 and 2005. You were still fairly new. But, I mean, it's... First impressions mean everything in the beer world as well as in, in real life. I mean, my first impression was horrible, so I stayed away from it for a long time. I like Pilsners. I'm not a huge, huge fan of Pilsners, as porters and stouts are my way of going. But I like Pilsners. And I wish that I had a better experience with the, this beer before that, because I think I'd be in love with the beer by, by now. Now, we have the Steam Whistle... 20 ounce glass here. Yeah, there's a little bit of steam whistle in there still because I just had a steam whistle about 20 minutes ago. Uh, steam whistle's brewmaster. Worked for Pilsner at Raquel as a brewer. So this is true to form to the Czech style of brewing. Now look at that. That looks like a pilsner. That's a thick, pillowy, creamy head. It's the beautiful, beautiful pale gold color that you should get from a pilsner. It looks awesome. Again, this is one of the reasons why I'm mad at those two bars for giving me such a bad outlook at, on this beer. Because that looks great in the glass. Smell-wise, you get floral hops. You get you get your Bavarian hops. You get a little bit of greeniness on the nose as well, but the nose is fairly subdued. It's not really bitter hopping this. 
hoppiness. It's very, very floral. It, it does smell very nice for a Pilsner. It smells very nice for a beer in general. What's it taste like? Now, for those of you that love a Pilsner, this is really the way to go. If you want to buy local, you want to buy a Canadian-made Pilsner. Canadian-made Pilsner, made by a man that made the Pilsner most people compare Pilsners to. One beer, one beer only is what this company does. They do it very well. It is... It's very sweet up front. A sweet graininess is what you get across the whole tongue. Graininess, you're tasting the barley. You're tasting that two-row Canadian barley, and it doesn't taste bad at all. Nice, sweet, grainy. You do get a nice, clean, crisp finish. There is a, a hoppy bitterness that lingers. I mean, the bitterness is not up in your face. It's just lingering in the back of your throat. The more you drink it, the more you get some grassy notes. It actually... You know when you mow your lawn and you get that those scents up your nose of the fresh cut grass? It has a lot of those notes in it. And that's a beautiful tasting beer as well. I love that crisp finish. I love the cleanness of the beer. I love that the hops are not in your face, that they're just lingering in the background. Yet, it's still, like Pilsner's, is fairly hop forward, just not overpowering hop forward. It is a great beer. For me, again, it took me about a 12 pack to really appreciate it for what it was, but then I did have two beers that made me hate it. So the fact that after two beers that made me hate it, it took 12 to make me like it again. I, I would figure that the, the learning curve for somebody that, say, drinks blue as their pilsner to liking this would probably take about a six pack. So this is really worth a try. I really like it. Uh, their slogan is, let steam whistle be the reward at the end of your day. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm letting this be the reward at the end of my day. It was a hard day today. We had lots of things to do. I did them all. I'm tired. I have a nice steam whistle. 8.75 out of 10 for me. This is a great beer. Everybody really should drink it. The only reason it's not a 9 and above is the style is not my favorite. It's not malty enough personally for me to get over a 9. However, as a Pilsner, it's probably one of the best Pilsners I've ever drank. Thank you guys for watching. Have yourselves a wonderful evening. The good beer folks, thank you for making such a great beer. Bye.